in today's episode, Basic Photoshop Applying Text and Effects for Beginners. If you learn something new, please subscribe and hit that notification bell, like, comment, and share this video from our Photoshop tutorial. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Welcome back to our channel. This is part 2 of our design tutorial. For the first part, I provided a link in the description down below. If you want to learn more about photo manipulation and changing the background of your photo, you can do check it out guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add text and simple effect to a design. As you can see, we already opened a design in Photoshop. In here, we will add a simple text. I have opened two pictures here. Okay guys, I'm, I'm just going to type. Dubai as you can see the, the text is small so we're going to enlarge that go to the text character change it to 200 press enter you can do more In this tutorial, I'm going to blend the text and the background. And to do that, we have to choose a text which has a bigger space so that you can see more clearly the blending of the background inside the text. We are going to make the text more bigger and to do that, just press Ctrl plus T to transform and drag drag the text while holding the shift key to avoid distorting the text then if you're satisfied with this space Press enter. Go back to layer. As you can see, the word Dubai is visible in our layer section. Then, the next tool we're going to use is the magic one. While selecting the word Dubai, click the magic wand. Together inside the letters, the letters Dubai should be selected properly. As you can see, the word Dubai is selected. After that, go to inverse. Then duplicate the background. Hide the original. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Ctrl C to copy. Control B to paste. As you can see, in our layer section, the layer, the word Dubai is already created. So you can just hide the original text. You can also hide the background so that you can see the outcomes okay we're going to transfer this to our main composition by dragging just drag it like this okay minimize the 
minimize the text. Now we are going to concentrate in our main thumb position. As you can see, the text is too big for that thumb position. So all you have to do is to press Ctrl T to transform while holding the Shift and Alt key. Drag it slowly to be like this. Just like that. Then you can put it anywhere you want. You can add stroke. If you want. You can do the region. Put it. You can do everything that you want. You can reduce the stroke. You're pressing. You see the amount. If the amount is bigger, the stroke become bigger. If the amount is small, the stroke is small. So you can feel free to do whatever you want to do. But for me, I'm going to choose the black and the white region. To add more effects, you can make the drop shadow by selecting the add layer mask in the add layer mask you can choose there are so many uh, selections so for now I'm going to just choose the drop shadow drop shadow you can also adjust the distance You can see the effects instantly spread in the size. As you can see and the angle as well. The, the default angle is 30. We can turn this angle bar by clicking the left key like this and let go. And we have also bevel and bows. Bevel and bows. You can, if you want the 3D effects, you can choose this one. You can add contour. In contour, there's a lot of selection, but you can just choose the ring. So apply. You can adjust it the way you want. I think for me that is enough. Now the shadow is too strong. I think I'm going to reduce the shadow. Here, we're going to do an angle directional texting. To do that, just click the control P for transform. By holding the control, you can move 
the text in any direction any direction that you want just keep on holding the control key while moving the text If you're satisfied with the location and the angle, you can select Enter, Confirm. You can duplicate the text by dragging it to create new layer mask. As you can see, we already have two text here. The lower text, we are going to make this as a shadow and to do that control press the control T transform right click on the mouse flip vertical we are going to make this as a shadow we're holding the control key drag the picture to text slowly to form as a shadow just make sure you hold the control E while doing this otherwise the effects will not apply enter control T again Just move, center it to by using the arrow key. If you're satisfied, press enter to confirm. Looks like we have a shadow under the water. And this is so obvious we are going to erase some of the shadow and to do that go to eraser tool to do make it a little smaller You can also put a stroke in the main text so that it will be more visible. Perhaps black is good. Origin. Yellow. Yellow. You're going to just press OK. 
This is one also one example on how to make how to put text then a design. You can also put text here. Choose the text tool. It's too big. The font is too big. Make it smaller. 200. Press enter. Up 100. I'm going to type words. I'm going to make it smaller. Press Ctrl E to transform. By holding the shift and alt key, you can drag it slow. Put the color in white. Duplicate the text. Choose the lower text. We're going to make this as a shadow of control P. Transform. Right click, then flip vertical. Using the arrow key, move it down a little bit. Now we have duplicate. Press enter to confirm. We are going to erase the shadow. And to do that, as you can see, you cannot erase this, the shadow, for now, because you have to rise the rise the text for you to manipulate. Now you are ready to delete or erase something, change something. You know, in putting a text, there are so many ways to do that. When you go to the text tool, create new word pad text. Here, wrap text. There are so many effects to choose. Art, lower. Flag. You can choose whatever you want to choose here. But for now, we're going to put that in a normal way. If you learned something new, please click the like button. And if you're new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more Photoshop tutorials. See you in our next video.